Then I go to Ete Fano, just chucking up a little video to explain the difference between a taiaha and a koi koi, the rakos that we create. To explain a bit about the taiaha, it's made up of some significant parts. So you have the upoko and the adiro, which is mostly always carved. Then we move on to the awe, which is the, the hair. This is the only part that we've adopted into our, into our koi koi kapoi. We move on to the, the kako or the tinana, which is where the where you hold the taiaha, and then it flattens out into a blade, into the ate on both sides, and then it ends with the rau at the end. Okay. Here is a koi koi. Traditionally, they weren't dressed. They were just a long bako with two pointed ends. That's how you could kind of pick out that it was a koi koi. Okay. And like I said, the only the only part of a taiaha that we've brought into these products is 